Hello everyone and welcome! In this video I'm going to be summarizing the results from both the short ram air intake testing and the cold air intake testing that I did and basically comparing the two against one another to see which one is actually better. So if you haven't yet watched my videos for testing out the short ram air intake or the cold air intake I'd recommend checking that out first. So here we have our summary table. We've got our stock runs and the averages for each of our different tests our cold air intake and our short ram air intake and then I have a percent difference from the perspective of the cold air intake so anything positive means the cold air intake is better anything negative means the cold air intake is worse so for our mid to high RPM rev range the cold air intake was 1.36 percent faster than the short ram air intake for our low RPM testing for the 20 to 40 mile per hour run in third gear the cold air intake was significantly slower than the short ram, 4.5% worse. For the low RPM range, just testing from 2000 RPM to 3000 RPM, short ram was faster by 2.9%, so the cold air lacking in the low RPM rev range. Now where it starts to shine is the mid to high RPM rev range. So uh, the percent difference for the mid RPM rev range, where we've got 3000 to 4000 RPM, the cold air intake was significantly faster than the short ram air intake, 4.26%. For 4,000 to 5,000 RPM, 2.22% faster than the short ram air intake. And then finally our high rev range from 5,000 to 6,000, uh, the short ram was quicker by 0.24%, so basically I'm just going to say uh, the highest RPM range, they're actually about equal. So. Let's talk about which you should choose and for what scenario you should choose it. Now, if this car is your daily driver that you're going to be installing it on, it makes the most sense to leave it as the stock air intake system, which performs the best in the low RPM rev range, which is where you're going to be driving the most if it's your daily driver. Now, if you are going to be using your car on the track, it can make sense to use the short ram air intake or the cold air intake. Now, the cold air intake improved better overall, but it is more expensive and it is more difficult to install. So if you're on a tighter budget, the short ram air intake makes some sense. If budget is out of the question, you don't need to worry about that, then go with the cold air intake because you're going to get more performance overall. Any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.